wrestling.us every week at 880 Wrestling for Thursday Night Fights. And it's great to see these ambitious young athletes on both teams here really break out and make a name for themselves, expanding their territory. Johnstown, Pennsylvania is in for a treat because you want youthful enthusiasm, that fire, that energy, and that adrenaline. That's what you're gonna see in this tag matchup right here. I will say this, Jim, Tyler Brooks also a trainee and you know, not only just a part of the Troublemakers, but also a trainee of the great Glenn Spector. Glenn, Glenn Spector, one of the most feared men of the squared circle. But as you can say, Tyler Brooks has become quite the powerhouse in the last couple of years. Man, look at the physique on this guy. Yeah, Tyler Brooks, as you said, a student of Glenn Spector, originally out of the ICWA Wrestling Academy. Conversely, Paris Sahara, a student of 880 Wrestling. And Sahara's made, she's made such a long way, but right now she has her head. She has Tyler Brooks' head, and she's just crushing it as she now twists his arm. My goodness. You'll notice to go along with that new wave energy, Paris Sahara likes to generate offense from many different angles. She's very dynamic, very unorthodox inside the squared circle. And that, like this right here, look at the way that she's able to extricate herself and sends Tyler Brooks across the ring and immediately Paris Sahara letting the APWF know she is a tremendous athlete. Big collision in the corner. I mean, she's just so fluent as a oh, bulldog. How's, your, how's that taste? Tyler Brooks, one. Cover here. Only a two count. Declan, you look a little bit shocked. Uh, well, I, you know, I'm just surprised. Even though Tyler Brooks looks, you know, like he's kind of inexperienced, but don't take anything away from that guy. He's much, much more savvy than you would think. And I'm just surprised to see him have the troubles that he's having right now. This is not the enlightenment that I had expected. Yeah, double team action. And oh, the matriarchy. Not only are they on the same page, they're on the same sentence, reading the same word. Lateral press here. Zeke, they find just to that time. It is, I think Zeke, Mercer, and Paris here, they have such a gel together. I mean, Zeke being an MMA background, being that just that amateur wrestling. And right now, he is just taking it to Tyler Brooks. But wait a minute, Tyler Brooks now. Waist lock. Taking a page out of Mercer's book here. You know, Zeke goes by the moniker No Mercy, and we've seen that numerous times, Jim. No Mercy on his opponents. Yeah, they have an amateur background from their high school days, which, as you said, wasn't that long ago because of how early they began in this sport. Smart wrestling here. That's where you win the matchup on the canvas. That's right, and I will give Darren Crow credit. He was ready to get in there and break up that three count. But the referee's going to definitely have to keep his head on a swivel, especially with what Tyler Brooks and Darren Crow have been known to do in their matches. And oh, wait a minute! And there's that power you talked about. Tyler Brooks, about a two year pro, has spent the past two years adding a lot of lean muscle to his frame. And you see how it comes into play during the course of this contest. That's right. I mean, uh, you think about trained by Glenn Spector. Death comes lifting, we're seeing that here as the referee's back's turned, and we definitely see some Glenn Spector there. Well, and this is kind of what I had expected from the beginning. Glenn Spector and his toology is just something that it cannot be understated. But now Crow, that's right, taking it, taking it to Zeke Mercer, he has him in the corner there, and I mean, smart tag team wrestling, they were keeping him in the opposite corner, and oh my God, I heard that shot from here. Crow trying to rough up Zeke Mercer. Oh my goodness, and now Crow just pounding away on Zeke Mercer, is now another one, that chop took him off his feet, my God. I think that's where you're going to see this match change completely. Now that these individuals have taken a little bit of control. You'll see the ring generals that they are. You'll see them cut off the ring in half. You'll see everything that they can do to take advantage of Zeke. I think Crow needs to visit the concession stand. He looks a little hungry. He took a snack on the forehead of Zeke Mercer. Yeah, he just bit the living hell out of Zeke. My God, what is it? Crow is sadistic. I mean, good Lord, this guy is just dark. That's all there is to it. Double clothesline and a beauty. Cover here, two and a half. Only a two count. You know, we've again. seen the matriarchy, excuse me, Doc, the yes. matriarchy are definitely 
very technically sound, but we're seeing when it comes to, to the tooth and nail, the fisticuffs, Brooks and Crow certainly have the advantage here. We're seeing two diametrically opposed strategies. Well, there's not a move that Tyler Brooks can't get out of, can't counter in some way, and that's going to be the problem for Zeke. And he is now choking Zeke on that second rope. Referee, and you do have the count. I hate to say this, you have to the count of five. It's and not damn it, the referee's back there, and here comes Crow. He's just trying to tell Tyler Brooks that he was so impressed with what he had seen. Princess Amanda. What are you reading lips over there? Or what? I'm sorry? Are you exactly. reading lips? That's well, the question. Of course. Reading lips. Two and a half. Oh my goodness! I think you get. I think you got the reading lips do, from the Tony Kincaid School of uh, Commentary. Do do the troublemakers have you on the take or something? You on the payroll here? Look, I respect greatness. Look out here. Doesn't bode well for Mercer. And I beg your pardon. Double. I beg your pardon, Jim. I can't believe you would expect some cover here. Two and a half. Continue. I just. I, I'm just flummoxed. Zeke Mercer kicking out of that. That double suplex was vicious, but again, Crow is just trying to top him, trying to get that three count, but it's just not working right now. Zeke Mercer, there's so much fire in him. So keep, it, keep in mind, Doc, each pinfall attempt that Crow was trying to uh, put on there, that forced Zeke to expend more energy to kick out. That's right, and right now he's taking all the energy by just standing on him. That larynx on that bottom rope, my God. You think about this, right now Glenn Spector is sitting back just enjoying this. He's hey. enjoying this just this mauling, this the rule breakers handbook being I don't know how many times used. And oh swung a pair of Sahara, how dare you? And if Zeke wants to continue the torture, Crow and Brooks are absolutely happy to oblige. My goodness, and they, they are keeping him in that corner, Jim. It was smart tag team wrestling. It's absolutely a, smart. Yeah, they are taking Tag Team pages. Wrestling 101, and Zeke just got his face. Their face may have ended up in the third row. And that is the trademark grit and tenacity of Zeke Mercer. They have been undersized their entire career, but certainly Zeke is going to look to continue to fight forward here. They know the opportunity that the APWF offers. Yeah, Zeke is no joke, but right now, Brooks and Crow are just taking it to him, and they are keeping Paris Sahara on the outside, who is the fresh individual. She has not been in there for pretty much three quarters of this match so far. Well, Zeke is isolated. Excuse me, Doc. Tag Team Wrestling 101 cutting the ring in half, and that's exactly where Tyler Brooks is right now. That's what I was just going to say. If you cut a diagonal right through that ring, they have not allowed Zeke Mercer to even get close to the corner. That's why there's trouble. Right now, Zeke trying to fight back here. Off the ropes. Look at the agility of Brooks. Beautifully executed drop kick. Man, pinpoint precision right on the butt. Man, did Crow just come down that elbow? That elbow could cut you like a knife, but only a two count on that. Well, oh, that referee was completely out of position. That oh, should have easily on. been a three count. Oh. What are you, what are you? Again, that selective eyesight kicks in. Thought the last time there was a pinfall, the referee fell out of the ring. No, he backed out of the ring to keep the action from going. Thank you. Fell back. <laughs> I'm not even oh, Zeke wait, avoids the contact. And now we're going to find out if Mercer has enough left in the tank to make that critical tag. Can he reach Paris Sahara? Can she turn things around for the matriarchy? Can this referee count to 10? I, he, he's obviously counting right now. I don't know what you're... Mercer inching closer and closer. They make the tie. Here comes Sahara. Oh, big forearm. Oh, she's on, a, she's on that top rope. What a missile drop kick by Sahara. Sahara just hit Tyler Brooks before she even got in the ring. What agility from Paris Sahara. Offense from every angle here. What a bridge, but it wasn't enough. 
It's really breaking down here, gentlemen. We have all four athletes in the ring. Paris Sahara, she has completely changed the complexion of this contest. Yeah, the spirituality is just taking over APWF, but is it enough as Brooks now has her up? Oh! Falcon Arrow plants Sahara. And that's the enlightenment that I was talking about. Springboard Swan Todd Bomb. They are going all out here. Hooks that leg. Wait a minute, feet on the ropes. Princess Amanda calling Crow out on his BS. He had both feet on that ropes for that leverage. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. From my vantage point, I didn't really see exactly. But blood? I do know that that referee needs to understand that he needs to take some charge. Crow is irate, but he got caught Jim red-handed, or red feet at this point. Wouldn't you be irate if you had to do the referee's job as well? I don't blame Crow at all. But he's offering, oh. Well, wait, we're seeing some dissension between Brooks it makes and me a Crow. Little bit, makes me a little bit nervous here to see what I see. I mean, this is the first time these two have tagged. There's a lot of egos. But wait, oh, sleeper hold applied to Zeke Mercer. Brooks could be trying to slow this thing down because it's getting out of hand. Well, you've known, Glenn Spector's known to be up and he's showing that right now. But wait, Zeke Mercer trying to get the hell out of this. As right now, Brooks is holding on though. Brooks has that locked. Oh. Wait a minute, Par Paris Sahara, she's still in the ring here. Picks him up. Oh, pride and prejudice. Paris is legal. She got it. That is a blatant double team. It's their finisher, dude. It's called the Pride and Prejudice. There were two people in the ring. Who's the legal person? It's called Tag Team Wrestling. You haven't seen those moves before? 3D. Law and order is something that's important, too, I think. Gentlemen, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. When we come back here to Johnstown, October 26th, you better keep that new wave energy going because the matriarchy have made their statement here in the APWF. I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and I'm the Riz. And you know, Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you're worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know where we can find that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. <laughs>